everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's emmy and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on so you get updated every time i post a new video so in today's video i am back with a clothing haul i got a bunch of stuff from misguided and for some reason they put it in this box which i've never ordered anything from misguided and had it delivered in a box but I guess the sum is different. Yeah, let's get into it. So the way I did the shop was I basically just went on Misguided and I bought a bunch of things to make outfits instead of pairing it with most of the things in my wardrobe. The main things that I paired it with in my wardrobe are just the heels, but for the most part, the whole outfit was from Misguided. So I'm going to show you the items according to the outfits and then I'll try it on as an outfit so you guys can see what I'm working with. So the first item I have is this faux leather blazer. It's really cute, it's, this belt, it's a belted blazer and then it has like these two pockets on each side that are actually useful pockets. Um, and you can't really see what the item looks like but I'll show it to you when I try it on. Um, but yeah, this is really cute. It has like four, four buttons like that. Okay. And it's so cute. I intend to wear this with some black heels. And then I also got some matching shorts to go with it. So they're just like leather shorts. And I need to fit over my thighs. So I got this in a size 12. A 10 probably would have fit. But I didn't want it to be like a forced fit. So yeah. They're really fitted as well. So I would recommend going a size up if you have thighs. Baby girl. And if you don't, um, just stick to your regular size. It's just a simple outfit, it's a cool ord, so the outfit is basically put together already, like you don't really have to do much thinking. Any regular black heels would do. You could do um, perplex heels as well, if you want the outfit to just stand out on its own. But yeah, that's kind of how I wore the outfit. The next item I have is just a dress. I don't know, I just like my dresses. I just always have to, every time I do a shop, I just have to buy a dress, you know what I mean? I just like my dresses. But anyway, I got this brown this chocolate brown one shoulder dress and it's so cute she me and ranch just go well together but yeah it's got like the ranch detail on the side on both sides actually and it just it just has a lot of ranching happening and then it has like this um what would i even call this this tail i guess in the front of the dress this is a figure hugging dress and i really really like it um it's also not really cheap material the material is quite heavy so you're actually getting your money with work do you know what i mean it's a really cute dress they have it in another color kind of like a green color like a khaki color and it just matches with my body my skin color so well so i think it's a really cute dress simple but if you needed something to wear with and you have no idea what you wanted to wear just pull that dress out and you sort it this hair keeps fighting with my lip gloss. The next item I have, which is one of my favorite pieces from the Skyded, are these leather, these faux leather joggers. They're so cute. I really like these joggers. They're really fitted, but then they're loose in all the right places. And then it doesn't squish your bum. I hate it when like joggers squish your bum. And I thought this was gonna happen with these just because they're leather joggers, like I mean, faux leather joggers. So yeah, these are actually really comfortable. And I plan to dress it up again with some black heels because I just need black heels. But the heels that I intended to wear with it were these um, square toed strappy heels just so like I could pull the joggers up a bit and then like tie the strap around my ankle like kind of all the way up. But they sent me the wrong heels. <sighs> anyway. I'm done being mad at it, but I was actually kind of annoyed when I opened my order and saw that I got the wrong heels because I like these heels, but they just weren't doing it for the idea that I had in mind. So I am going to return these heels, but I just want to show you what they look like because these are actually cute. Like if I wanted them, I would have kept them, but I don't really want them, do I? But yeah, they're just like these pointed heels and they have the strap that I wanted. They sent me a replacement basically. They had a strap and the intention was for this to go kind of toward my, like up my ankle, but not like all the way up, just 
enough to not leave a big gap between my ankle and the joggers. What was I saying? But yeah, basically these joggers, I mean these heels would have looked nice with the joggers but that pointed heel just wasn't doing it for me with the joggers just because I wanted to dress it up but I still wanted it to look casual and I just felt like the heel was doing too much I know it was not the biggest difference but I feel like the point made a big difference to me so I was really disappointed when I opened the package but if you like these heels I do recommend getting them they're easy to walk in and I think they're really cute so yeah but I'm not keeping them because that's not what I ordered. Anyway, I just went on a whole rant about those heels. They're really nice though. Like if you actually want them, they're really nice. They're just not what I wanted. Anyway, I bought that. Well, I didn't buy that. I bought the strappy heels to go with the leather joggers and this bodysuit. Um, so this bodysuit is really cute. It has like a low, well, I thought the cut would be low to be fair. I thought it would come like up to here, but the cut just comes like up to here kind of um i just got a bodysuit uh this is a really comfortable bodysuit it's stretchy and again the material is really good um i keep saying the material is really good just because like compared to actually let me not even say that it's really comfortable and for people that don't buy bodysuits that have like the big granny panties these ones are actually um this one's actually a thong bodysuit so you ain't gotta worry about that this is really comfortable and i got this in the regular section in a size 10. the only thing is some people like if you have like broad shoulders like i was kind of i wasn't here for the shoulders at first but i kind of grew to like them i probably won't wear them as much just because of the shoulders they have like padding on it and it just makes my shoulders look like i'm a freaking linebacker and i'm just not but yeah um other than that, the bodysuit is really cute and the whole outfit turned out cute. Except I didn't wear with the heels I wore with my own other black heels that I'm obsessed with. Because, yeah, I just keep buying heels. Like, stop, where am I even going? And then to go with that, uh, and then to go with that outfit, I got like this little bag. It's so cute. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like a Balenciaga bag cute or whatever but i got this small tote bag i didn't actually end up using it for the pictures but this is a really cute bag um it can fit a lot in it it's quite cute um in case you're wondering what all that stuff is it's just because the bag is still filled with the papers that they put in it it also comes with a strap an extendable strap in case you wanted to do like a crossbody which crossbody is cute but for this specific bag i wouldn't necessarily want to do crossbody i don't think anyway um, but yeah, this is a cute bag. It's nice, small, compact, and it can actually fit a lot of things in it, like all the essentials that you need: your lip gloss, your poly, your purse, everything. You can fit everything in here, basically. You're fine. This is a big, small bag, basically. But yeah, this is really cute. If you like some gold details, you can get that too. They didn't have it with the silver details, and as you can tell, I always have like something silver on. I just like silver. Speaking of gold detail, this is probably my favorite purchase in this entire order. This bag, you know what? This bag is so cute. It's just a khaki, like rectangular, I don't even know what they call this. What's it called? But yeah, it's just a khaki bag. It's so cute, it's so spacious. This is just, this is like, an unreleased version of Bottega. This is so cute, look at it. It's like a mini briefcase basically. I bought this in the brown color, but again, they sent me an alternative color, but I'm not mad just cause this is actually so cute. Like, this is so cute. And again, it also has the extendable strap, which I know I wouldn't use the extendable strap for this specific bag just cause it just doesn't make sense. Especially because this handle, it doesn't go anywhere, like it actually just stays there. And I just feel like you can't have this handle and not use it. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this. It's just that bag that you just need in case you just want something to just zhish up your outfit. This is that bag. Yeah, it's really cute. And I actually did wear this one with the gold detail in because I was like, fuck it, this bag is cute. She's cute or whatever. The next item I got are just some regular Zagula mom jeans. 
I've got some plain black mom jeans. There's nothing special here. I got these from the tall section just because I'm tall and I don't like that shit. I don't like it when the joggers is just not working with my length. Like maybe I'm gonna need you to keep up. But um, yeah, just regular black mom jeans that I just feel like I needed in my wardrobe for one and for two I bought it for an outfit that didn't work out in the end I bought it to go with this just a black blouse and the intention the intention behind this was just to have the blouse open buttons open low enough to create like a low cut cleavage kind of situation and then tucked into the jeans with some back heels but i put the outfit on and it just looked like i was going to the office and i just wasn't feeling it like i just wasn't feeling it i just wasn't feeling it baby like maybe if i was going to the office i'd actually wear it but um that's not the look i was going for so that outfit was an L, but it's okay because that's the only outfit that didn't work out for me um but the jeans itself are really comfortable to like maneuver in like they're fitted like in all the right places and they don't look super baggy and another thing is i'd always recommend going a size up in mom jeans and if you want to get them taken in like go you know, get someone to get your waist taken in and stuff so your jeans are like really fitted which is what i want to do with my black mom jeans but in the meantime i just had to wear about and just and yeah i tried to do that button trick that people did like when you overlap the button into like one of the loops and stuff but it just wasn't working out so i definitely i definitely want to get the jeans taken in so that's probably what i'm going to do and then i have one more item to show you last and least this is my least favorite purchase of the items the order just because it just wasn't what i expected they're not terrible or anything but first of all not that I don't mind a, sh a short heel, but these are like really short for one. For two, they didn't match the outfit that I was meant to go with, which is the blazer. This nude was very, very, very far off from the nude that I intended. Um, so yeah, that's two. And yeah, I just feel like I have better heels in life. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend these. Other than the comforts, honestly, this is you're not missing much not having this new wardrobe. So um yeah, that's that. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what items you liked, what pieces you didn't like. Let me know how you would have styled some of the pieces that I got. Just comment let's talk and also don't forget to turn your notifications on and subscribe and if you're not from instagram don't forget to follow me on instagram so you don't miss out on my fabulous pieces <laughs> and my face in case you're waiting on a video so yeah um is that everything that i have to say i feel like i always end my videos like that but i'm genuinely thinking about what else i have to say anyways i don't think there's anything else i have to say so it's Ami and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.